So this Sunday, February 10th, the Indian Defense League of America is having a box social at the community hall. It's going to start, I think, late afternoon. And uh, you, what you can do is you can do up a nice lunch box and bring it, dress it up, and it can be auctioned off. And whoever bids on it and wins it gets to have lunch with you. But if you don't want to do a, box, a lunch box, you can just come and bid on them. So it plans to be a lot of fun. So um, I encourage people to take that and uh, help to raise some funds for the IDLA committee. Next week, February 11th to 15th, I'm taking a much-needed vacation, so I will be out of the community for a week. On the 17th, there will be a, a Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls Vigil. It's going to be held at the Community Hall uh, from 1 to 4 p.m., and then again, that Sunday, February 17th. It's going to be potluck, so we encourage you to bring some food and also bring your own uh, plates and utilities. A facility, your utilities that you need, your forks and knives. On the 19th and 20th, um, Councillor Carl Hill and I will be in Ottawa for the Iroquois Caucus. And on the 21st, I do have a meeting set up with some of the staff in the Prime Minister's office to talk about our global solution and education. At the end of the month, there's some conferences going on. The 26th, 27th and 28th, there is an AFN Symposium on Water, which is being held in Niagara Falls. Myself, Carl Hill and Terry General will be attending that. And at the same time, the Chiefs of Ontario is having a health conference in Toronto with Sherry Lynn Hill Pierce, Hazel Johnson, Melba Thomas, and Audrey Paulus Bombry will be attending. On March 1st in Brantford at the Best Western, there will be an MP, uh, which is Phil McCollman, and an MPP, which is Will Booma, will be having a breakfast and answering questions up in Brantford on March 1st. I think that's 7.30 in the morning. On March 5th, of course, is going to be our Six Nations Day at Queen's Park. And the 6th and 7th, there is a retreat plan between the councillors and the senior admin team. The Chiefs of Ontario is also organizing a water forum on March 7th and 8th. We're not sure if anyone from here is going to that just yet. And on March 7th in the evening from 7 to 9 p.m., there will be a celebration of Pauline Johnson at Chiefswood. Tickets are $50. For tickets, call 519-758-5444, extension 6025 or email coordinator at chiefswoodnhs.ca. And on March 8th, I'm going to get another visitor from the University of Waterloo. Charmaine Dean wants to visit us, and she's the Vice President of Research. So those are the upcoming things to up until our next uh, report on the radio. And again, with a heavy heart, I have to say condolences to all those who have lost loved ones over the past few weeks. It seems that we're losing a lot of people, and the, the saddest part is we're losing younger people. So our thoughts and prayers are out with all those family members. At the same time, we want to offer congratulations to all the students and, and others, you know, who need, deserve congratulations for one thing or another, but particularly the students who won STAY awards for proficiency in science. These are grade 8 and grade 9, 10 students. Awards were presented by Imperial Oil and the Grand Erie District School Board at the General Council meeting that was held on January 15th. And lastly, I want to say a big thank you to our public work staff who are working hard to keep our roads clear. You know, we've had some nasty weather and they're out there uh, early in the middle of the night and trying to get the roads clear for us and um, they're doing the best job they can. All of our staff are doing the best job that they can and trying to remove the snow as quickly as they can. And if we don't get to you right away, they will get there eventually. And um, what would really help is if we can get that sense of community back. And if you're, you think that your neighbor needs help shoveling, then let's all pitch in and help each other. Um, we really need that a, a sense of community because our staff are doing the best they can and it sometimes takes a little bit longer to get the, the clearing done that needs to be done. So thank you very much and we'll talk to you again next month.